What's up everybody, my name is Matt aka The Cut Corners and a lot of people ask me what's the best way to manage their files, relocate their files using the files panel in Serato DJ. So I've got a quick video here to show you the best way I like to use the files panel in Serato DJ to manage my files in my Serato DJ library. Let's go! Alright, so the files panel in Serato DJ, just open it up and you'll see that there's the rescan ID3 tags option and the relocate lost files button. A lot of people just click on this, but that's not actually how you use it. What you want to do is you want to think about how it's used. And first of all, I want to give a bit of background. So typically a lot of people will just drag music into their library from maybe the downloads folder. I got this full crate folder right here and I'm going to drag this into the crates area. Boom, there it is. And all the files that are within it. It's even named the same respective name as the folder, which is really super cool. It's kind of just the standard way that Serato works. If you load up the songs, they do exactly what you'd expect. Now, if I move this file, this whole folder or any of the files outside of Serato, which I'll do right now, I'm going to go to the music folder where this folder exists, and I'm going to drag this to my desktop in Finder. So what has happened now is basically I've moved this, but Serato doesn't know that. And so when I go to load up the same song again, it goes missing exactly what you think everything in here is now missing and that's because I moved the folder out of the original location and you can even you can always tell the original location in Serato already if you just go to this location tab if you don't see it just click on this little triangle here and choose it from the drop down menu and it will tell you what where Serato thinks it's looking for that file so you can see here it says you know my Serato music and the folder is full crate so if we go to the music folder and we click on it again when you go scroll down, it's no longer there. And that's because obviously we moved it. I do already know where it is. Um, if you don't, you just may need to use Finder to go figure out where your files are or if they're in a new folder. But in this situation, because I know what it is, I can just go to the desktop. And there we, there we go, there it is right there. And what I wanna do is I wanna relocate all the files in this folder. So I'll, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the folder and drag it to the relocate lost files and drop it on it. And there we go, it's now done its thing. It's relocated all the files in that folder. And if they were in other smart crates or other fold, um, other crates within my Serato library, it would relocate and rebuild those file paths. So you can see now the location is correct in Serato. It's looking for it in the right area. And that is on the desktop. So that's great. I'm gonna sort this by BPM, of course. So now I can load up any of these files and we're good. No more orange files, which is exact, exactly what I want. For context though, if you are adding your music uh, via the files panel, which is what I'd recommend, you can also move it to another location within in this files panel, and that's exactly how you should use it. So if I wanted to move this back to my music folder, where, is, where actually I'd, I'd like it to live, I can do that in this files panel by clicking on the folder from its location currently and dragging it to the location that I want it to be in the music folder. So I'm going to drop it in there. Now I get this little pop-up menu here. Copy, move, or cancel. Cancel is exactly what you'd expect it to be. Copy will copy every, will basically duplicate every file in here to the location of the music folder. So I have some on my desktop and I'll have some in my music folder. That's not what I want. I just want to move the whole file and folder to the music location. So I'm going to click move. It's automatically updating it for me. And now the location is updated too, so I can load these songs again. And they're doing exactly what I'd hope. So that's pretty much how you use the files panel and the relocate lost files button in Serato DJ. That's how I'd recommend moving your files around, moving libraries. And you can even use this as a way to export to an external hard drive. So say if you wanted to get your files from the music folder and copy them onto an external drive, you could do that if you had an external drive connected. You could just click and drag it to the external drive and it will give you that option to copy, move, or cancel. So you could move it to an external drive or you could copy it so you have a backup on the external drive. Either way, um, they're, they're very helpful for moving files around or backup libraries. So that's how you should use the files panel in Serato DJ. I hope that's been really helpful and educational. Uh, if you did like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel because Man, I really appreciate that. So 
I'll be making more videos too, so stay tuned and let me know if there's anything that wasn't clear in the comments. I'll be around. Thank you for watching. Peace.